Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Myself, Dr. Madhuran Srinivas. I am daily posting short, short video explanations of the questions which I am asking in my Telegram group. The name of the group is Crack Dharma with DRMSD. The links will be in the uh, comment and description. You can check them out. So, today's our question is identify the incorrect statement among the following options regarding the condition which is shown in the image. And this is the image. This could be a potential uh, future MCQ in either INICT or in the NEET exam as well. So, in this image, you are able to see a palm which is having two fluid field lesions. So, if you have thought that the diagnosis here is palm follicles, then your answer is right. And if you have thought that option C is the incorrect statement, then absolutely your answer is perfect. Why? Because this palm follicles it is going to present as intensely itchy lesions of the palms and soles and you can see they are also going to be painful deep seated vesicles which will which will be seen and uh, the main part is this is taken from the rooks so here you can see the diagnosis is given as pomphalic eczema so here the main future features are that the lesions are going to be having sago grain like or tapioca like appearance will be there and they are going to start they are going to start on side of the fingers okay this point is very important why because uh, in pj exam one of the options told that it begins at the tip of the fingers tip of the fingers was the option given and please remember it is not from the uh, the lesions are not going to start from the tip of the fingers but they are going to begin from the side of the fingers which is right answer and one more in important feature is recurrences there will be history of recurrences of these particular lesions so these are the clinical features of form follicles. and uh, you must remember that uh, there is one very important differential diagnosis uh, for this particular form follicles, and that is id eruption okay id eruptions are usually seen in the case of any intensely inflammatory dermatosis like you can take for example if there is a focus of tinea infection like in the children tinea capitis or in uh, adults it could be uh, a tinea pedis or any type of infectious dermatitis so all these can be the triggers and uh, the whereby which the inflammatory reaction will occur over the palms and soles in the form of id eruptions so this is one of the important differential diagnosis in this palm follicles. so in the treatment potent topical steroids have very very important uh, and crucial role so this is uh, also a correct statement so all these three are correct statements whereas option c is wrong why because this palm follicles is associated with dyshydrosis but not anhydrosis okay this is very very important point to be remembered by everyone so these are the sago grains also called as sabudana in hindi because these lesions these vesicles deep seated vesicles are having similar appearance they are called as sago grain or tapioca like lesions so this is my youtube channel friends do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification for all the latest updates which i am putting and this is my unacademy profile you can Follow me on Unacademy to get all the updates of the videos which I am posting. Links for these will be kept in the description and also in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video friends. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel to get daily uh, such vi videos. And check out this video to understand completely about Petriasis rosia. And check out this video to understand all about the very important Xanthelasma palpebrum which could be a future image based question so as always happy learning bye bye